Hello everybody. Uh, we are going to be showing you our project for this week. Um, we are going to be using crayons or oil pastels, if you got those. And we're going to be using either paint or watercolor. Watercolor is going to be the best option if you have that. If not, you can also use food coloring. Okay. If you don't have those items and you need an alternative, please email me um, at my email address. You'll have that in the file and I will uh, we'll talk about some alternatives, okay? Um, so here's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna show you a couple examples over here of some finished pieces. We are going to be drawing and making designs on paper with crayons and oil pastels and then painting over them. So how are we gonna make some designs? I'm going to show you one way. Uh, let's use this, a circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to trace, okay? And I'm going to trace the inside of it. It's a little easier to trace the inside of it than the outside. And then I have my circle, okay? Let me make another circle. Maybe I won't fill that one in. And maybe I'll do something in black. I can make some lines with a ruler. And I'm gonna hold the ruler down with one hand. And then I'm gonna take my oil pastel or my crayon and push against the ruler. Go across, there we go. Let's do another one, maybe in another direction. And this can be random. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. And you don't have to do it just like me. I am experimenting with my designs. I'm gonna make some more lines, but I'm gonna use white. And we're not gonna see those until we put the paint on. gonna look kind of like stained glass I'm guessing uh, let's see uh, let's put some paint on there and see what happens okay so uh, I'm just using a regular set of watercolors here and you can also just have some water that works great and you can use whatever size brush you want to use so I'm gonna like that and maybe I'll start with some yellow. And there's a few options for how we could do this. I can paint it. Oh, that's a lot of color on there. I'm going to kind of spread it out. If you're not seeing the lines, it's because there's too much paint. So you need a little less paint. I'm just spreading it. You see those lines showing up now. And everything that I painted in, everything that I painted with the oil pastel is gonna show through. Unless I have too much paint on there. And then it won't. But I could always blot it with um, a little bit of a rag or a paper towel works well too. And what could I do now? I could add some other colors, and there's a few different ways I could use those, other, add those other colors. I could put some on and just kind of add some drips. And you only want to do this if you have a space where you can get a little dirty. Okay, and that's just a choice. You don't have to do that one. Um, and there's another thing you could do you have a straw and you mix up some some paint then I can put my straw in the paint put my finger over the end and then kind of that's another way of doing what I was doing before with the brush okay 
Um, so once I do that, I can leave it like that, or I could add another color. Maybe I'll add a little bit of And this, this project this week is very open-ended. So if you wanna paint something with the watercolors or the oil pastels that you're inspired to make, that's totally fine. Um, we're just focusing on experimenting with these materials and I'm giving you a few different ways to experiment with those materials. And you can trace anything you want on the paper. You could use the tape like I did or a ruler or even uh, some sort of container that you might have in your house, okay? If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me at jlsteiner at pnwboces.org and there'll be some other resources in the folder for you to look at. Have a great week.